Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you guys? I hope you all of you are doing fine and you are fully pre prepared for your Cambridge uh, computer science examinations. Uh, only a few days left, so good luck to you guys. Anyway, so I've uh, derived another question. This is this was one of the past paper questions of uh, 2022. I've uh, remolded it uh, into a 15 mark scenario based question just for your practice. So let's get down to it. An organization has a visitor car park with 20 car parking spaces numbered 1 to 20. Write and test a program for the visitor car parking booking system to work for a specific period of two weeks including appropriate prompts for the entry of data. All vari uh, data must be validated on entry. All variables, constant and others ide other identifiers must be meaningful. Uh, your code should be fully commented. The data structure you choose should be sufficient enough to store data for each of the 20 parking spaces for a static period of two weeks. Allow visitor to request a parking space on any day within the two days, two weeks period by entering a number between 1 and 14 inclusive. The system will check that there are spaces available on the day and if so, will ask visitor to enter their car license number. This data will be stored in the data structures representing the first available parking space for the day requested. The visitor will be told the number of their parking space. At the end of the two days period, allow all of the data to be deleted ready for the next two weeks period. So first of all, uh, it has our data structure uh, that would store the values should have enough capacity to store 20 mm, uh, you can say values for a period of 14 days that means it should look something like a table with uh, 20 rows and 14 columns something like this something like this this were these would be the number of days like uh, like uh, whereas these can be the parking spaces available from 1 till 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 Okay, so it would be something like this. In fact, uh, I'll simply add another column. Okay, so here is what your data structure should look like. If you have a table like this, it should be able to record the uh, car numbers or the registration plate number, license number for each car for a period of 14 days for the available 20 spaces so let's suppose uh, you want to book um, a your uh, space on the day number 4th then you should be able to enter this 4 as your chosen day number and then the system should check that out of these 20 spaces which one is empty and the one that is empty on that uh, space let's suppose number 8 would be empty the system should uh, store the license number of your car for example ABC123 or whatever it is 
and then the system should be able to tell you that okay your this is your booking ID it has been generated for you one thing I think uh, which I guess I might have skipped from here we were supposed to generate a booking ID for each customer or in general if you simply have to book a um, uh, booking ID so I thought that instead of generating a unique I uh, random number it's uh, it's easier that if we simply combine these two numbers together like the day number and the parking space number and provide it to the user as a parking ID so the ID would be able to tell that okay your booking is on day 4th and your space is 8 that being said now let's get down to our solution so first of all what we need to do is we always need to initialize our variables so we are going to declare day so that the user can enter what day they want I this is just for account then we uh, have a variable days count space count to run for the rows and for the columns account to run a journal uh, loop and a variable choice as an integer then we have to declare booking ID as a string by string you'll get to know in a few minutes then we have we can uh, put this as a constant total slots like how many total spaces are available that is 20 then we'll declare license number as a string and declare parking booking means this array this 2d array that would have 1 to 14 columns and 1 to 20 rows as a string now loop started to initialize the array the first thing we need to do is we need to initialize our array for days count 1 to 14 and for space count 1 to 20 parking booking days count space count set it to free means write down this character free in each and every cell each and every empty space in the array why are we doing this like th uh, do it something like this why are we doing this you'll get to know in a few minutes it is necessary to do it we do menu display to user to enter data or delete data so for that we are going to use a repeat loop print parking space booking system number one make booking option number two delete all stored data which was asked from us in the question that at the end of the 14 days you should be able to uh, all allow all of the data to be deleted ready for the next two weeks period and as a third option we would say you can quit then we have asked the user to enter your choice that you want to make a booking you want to delete all stored data or you want to exit if choice equals to one then what to do repeat user is asked to input desired day for booking so the user can input day number from 1 to 14 and we validated it because we were asked in the question to validate all data on entry checking if on chosen and now once we have validated it that the day number must be from 1 till 14 we are going to check if on chosen day a space is free so we are going to run a loop and we are going to check that for the day chosen means for the column chosen let's suppose the user enter number six now let's suppose already seven bookings have been done let's suppose on day number six seven bookings have been done already now what we need to check is we are going to basically run a linear search and we are going to check that at which place the cell or the raw contains the value free this is why we initialized all of it as free like this space is free so what we, we are going to um, check that if parking booking day count equals to free then print enter car license number we are going to get license number and then we are going to store it in that location for example in the at the eighth position it is free so it is going to write the new number 
with the user just entered as over here so that this uh, uh, this space this cell becomes occupied then what yeah we are going to do we are going to generate booking ID by combining day and space number B booking ID str is a function by the name which converts an integer into string so the day number which the user has chosen is 6 over here so what it is going to do is it is going to convert basically this 6 into a string the value is not going to change just this 6 the data type for this 6 would be uh, converted into string then a string count what is the value of count over here that would be 8 now when you write down the plus sign between two strings it means concatenation meet it is uh, means it is just going to combine these two and write it together like this so it would become 68 or 68 means on the sixth day you have the eighth space booked for you and then that is going to be stored in the uh, parking uh, booking ID and then the system is going to give you a prompt that parking space number booked and that is your booking ID otherwise if they these two do not match means for the first seven rows what they are going to do is next count and if and if you have done this then until count equals to total slots or for further uh, like uh, to make your loop better what you can do is you can also write or you can write this but it's better if you don't and keep it just till here okay or you can introduce a found variable over here like uh, the after this then over here you would write uh, fo found equals to true you can um, initialize a found variable over here with a boolean data type and then you can write or now this would be a better solution Magic message display to user if no space is free if count equals to total slots means if all 20 slots have been run and uh, let's suppose for day 6 all 20 positions were filled so a free space was not found then what happens then print sorry no more free locations on selected day and if else if choice is equals to 2 like uh, when the main menu was displayed the user chose number 2 then what to do code to delete all data already stored for days count 1 to 14 and for space count 1 to 20 what we are simply going to do we are going to set all the uh, members of this 2D array as free which we had already done in the beginning as well in order to initialize it for the first time and if the choice is 3 then simply exit means until choice is equals to 3 means whenever the user enters 3 simply end the loop and close the program so this is the solution this is a sample question and this is a sample solution I hope you have understood everything if you have any problems please do comment below and let me know I'll reply to them tell your friends about it as well best of luck for your CIs I'll see you guys in the next lecture take care Allah Hafiz